Hello and welcome to Banish. This is a, as you can probably tell from the background, kind of a little survival city management kind of thing. Kind of similar to how Dwarf Fortress tends to work. You start with a group of essentially banished people, hence the name, uh, a few supplies, and a world. And then you can try and create your town. The town in the background is actually the town I used uh, to test the game to make sure everything worked. It worked all right. It crashed once this morning. Uh, but it didn't crash since then, so I'm not sure what caused it. This is the release version, 1.0, as you can see. Still a few bugs here and there uh, that could probably do with some fixing, but nothing really major as far as I've seen, except for that crash that, again, I don't know what it did, but either way. This series will be a little bit different than usual because this is a game of this type. It's a little bit slow, so a lot of the time nothing will be happening for swaths of time, essentially. So the first video, this one, obviously, will be a big chunk, a continuous chunk of me starting out the city. Um, and then from that point on, I will essentially just do updates uh, when, you know, a year has passed or if something has happened, like uh, I've built a new addition, like if I built another one of these somewhere, I'd probably make a little update video, check up on it and stuff like that. Uh, but this first video will be... Hicks. Dear Lord. Comfortasia. I like that one. Let's go with that one. This first video will just be a simple thing. Now, this game could be, you know, short, because I'm new. I don't, you know, that's the best town I've got in the background. I only did that for 10 years of in-game time. Uh, I could lose a city in five years, if I, or a town. If I do that, I'll make another one. If it lasts 50 years, I won't, because that's going to be a long time and a lot of content, essentially. Um, so... I'll try and make it last long, but if it doesn't, uh, you know, whatever, I'll make another one. I will be using this seed. Some of you may know what that represents, some of you may not know what that represents, but there it be. Uh, we will be doing valleys. There's two terrain types. Mountains is the more difficult of the two, and then terrain size is... Um... It doesn't really matter, medium or large. I'm not going to do small, because that's much too small if it does last a long time. We'll do large for now. Um, although that might change the seed. I don't know, it should be alright. Yeah, yeah, it should be alright. The climate goes from, you know, fairly warm, which is easy, which would be mild, uh, to really just a, a middling, which is fair, obviously. Ranges from below freezing to about set low 70s, high 60s, I think. This is in Fahrenheit, by the way, so uh, fair temperature, obviously. And then harsh is actually primarily b below freezing from what I've seen, which is very difficult. Um, your people can't stay outside to work long. Uh, you have firewood shortages constantly and all that. Disasters will be on. I haven't noticed that they're too bad. You can get screwed over by disasters if a house catches on fire really early on because at that point you probably don't have a well to deal with it. Uh, and we'll be playing on medium. Medium changes this stuff down here, so... We begin with five families. Clothing, food, firewood tools, and construction materials are provided. A storage barn has already been built, and some seeds for fields and orchards are available. Orchards. Uh, hard just removes the seeds, I think, and you start with less families. So... And then easy, you get uh, a herd as well as seeds and stuff. It's not going to change how I build the initial city. The difficulty is irrelevant for that because I won't be building farms for the initial city. It makes it a lot easier because farms provide a lot of food, but um, the reason I'm doing medium is because primarily later on I want to be able to do fields and orchards without having to rely on the randomness of a trader, although you can tell the trader what to bring. I just want to have that available. Let me drop this real quick. How long have we been on the menu? I don't know. Ages. Let's start the city here. Or the town of Comfortasia. Or Tasia? Is it Tasia or Tasia? Um, Comfortasia. I think we'll go with Comfortasia. I'll probably forget that and call it something else later, but we'll roll with that for now. It's planting apple seeds. Building trade routes. This is like Sim City in The Sims. It's pretty much irrelevant. It's hiding chicken eggs. Um, it has a list of things to say, and I don't know if they actually relate to anything it's actually doing. I think they're just meant for humorous 
side effects. But anyway, here's our little villagers. Our citizens, as they were. Here's the storage barn and the stockpile we start with, as well as the supplies. If you start on hard, you'll start with uh, slightly fewer supplies, and they'll start in a little cart, a la Dwarf Fortress or something like that, rather than this setup here. And it does appear to have changed the seed when I changed the size of the map, and we have a much worse seed now. Big open area there. Um, anyway, the first thing I need to do is this little button here opens up a bunch of menu things we can bring up, which we will be bringing up. So here's all of our supplies. This one will bring up an event log, which I don't need. Eh, we'll close that. The map I do want, and this I do want. Um, so we'll go ahead and put those two down there. This, is, this little event log will tell you when people are born or die or when they're replaced on their job or whatever. Uh, and this is a button I'll be using a lot as increased priority, but that'll be that. I can't actually Let's swap things a little bit. Put the bigger window up there. There we go. A little bit better. We're used to playing in 1080p. I have much less space now. But anyway, the first thing we need to do, obviously, uh, we have a... It's not the world's best starting location. Because of this river here. Hmm. Well, this is where we're going to have to start. We'll have to build a bridge to get over here relatively quickly. But the first couple things we're going to do is not do that. We're going to go over here. We're going to get a... If I click the right thing. Is it here? Forester's Lodge. We're going to go ahead and plot this. If I hit the right button. There we go. We will plop that about right there. And then we'll grab two other things. The hunting cabin. There's a very specific reason I'm facing them in this direction. And a gatherer's hut, which is a very good means of getting food. Um, right there. So there's now a pathway through the middle of those. So those need to be built with increased priority. Although they're the only thing for right now. So it's kind of irrelevant. Go ahead and speed up time. I will be leaving weather effects on, uh, I will try to compensate for that by giving the video higher quality when I render it, otherwise it will be bloody impossible for you guys to see anything, but yeah. I'll try to compensate for that. So first when they build things, they have to clear all the, the stuff that's in the way, you can see here, remove, then they have to bring supplies and then they can start building it, so I don't know what they'll build first. Actually, I had technically have no builders, so we'll go ahead and get, uh, to get stuff up quick, we'll get four builders, I should mention. Uh, if someone in a profession has nothing to do, they will automatically become a laborer. Laborers are just your general people, they move stuff around, they cut down trees and stuff like that. Um, I don't need to do anything there, I need a road. So we can bring this right up through the middle. And we're actually just going to cut it off about right there, preemptively in that road, because I don't know how my house layout's going to be. I tend to build my towns very tightly packed. It seems to be slightly more efficient to me, but we've started construction on the gatherer's hut, which is a good thing to start with. Got supplies for that, and they'll start bringing yeah, supplies over to there. They will path on this road if it's faster. At the moment, it's probably, yeah, it's faster for them just to generally go this way and then start using the road down here, but it should be all right. So we have a gatherer's hut. Now we need gatherers, and I'm going to go ahead and put, probably going to go ahead and put four people on that, and we're going to drop down the builders in a second here. The two. Because we don't need quite that many builders. Now we have a hunting log, hunting log, Lodge, cabin, whatever it is, gives you uh, leather and venice. Venison? Not venice, technically. Uh, where is it at? Hunter, there we go. It's three per hunting lodge, uh, four per gatherer's hunt, and I think three per forester's lodge. Forester's lodge will cut and replant trees in the area, which is good for these two buildings uh, to have trees nearby. Although the hunter's lodge can, hunting log, lodge, I can't speak can function in fields. I like to have it in tree areas. So here's what I tend to do with my towns, is I tend to make them very tight, like this. And I do mean really tightly packed. These buildings are going to be 
right on top of each other with kind of like a central square kind of area set up. That's actually more houses than we need right now, so probably shouldn't have built that many. Now we have a... No, oh, well, it's not that bad, actually. I was going to say we have a minor problem in that we don't have a major river right next to us. Can we still build a fishing dock up here? Hold on. Does that work? Will they still fish? Um... Sure. I mean, if that still works, that's great. I thought you could only fish on major rivers. I know you can only trade on major rivers, or lakes that are attached to them, like this one. That's interesting. But anyway, they should get to work on that. I've got two builders that can do their thing. I'm actually going to trim down the gatherers by two. Because I want two foresters. Now, there's not a whole lot I know or understand about this game. Server of stone is low. That sounds about right. Um, there should be a ton of stone around here, yeah. So we'll have them gather that. How much wood do we have? Not a lot. You know, we may as well just remove everything in this immediate area here. The laborers get to work on that. But the one thing I do understand is how to increase your population, and you can skyrocket your population. Effectively, you want two people in each house. You want a male and a female. Age is eff effectively irrelevant as far as I'm aware. Uh, and after a while, if they're the only two in the house, they will produce a child. They will keep producing a child as long as they are the only two adults in a house. So if you have a bunch of houses, you can effectively fit everyone, you know, a, a quote, proper family into each house, then your population will start to skyrocket very quickly. Which is both good and bad. Um, good in that, you know, more people means more people to work, etc, etc. But it also means more food. So you do have to keep an eye out for that. And this is why I like having my stuff so packed. Everything's right here where it needs to be. Quick, easy access to all of this stuff. There is a rock in the way of this road, so we're just doing some weird, swirly thing going on there. That'll be right. I have a road down here somewhere. Where's it at? There it is. I want this to come up this way and around. So I still build houses there. And we're going to need a bridge eventually to get over here, because this is a nice open area right there that could be used for a lot of things. Whereas these things down here aren't the most efficient because there's mountain ranges, etc, etc. And that's why the weather pattern makes it hard to see, by the way. So one of our children has grown up. This is the number of adults, educated, or sorry, students and children. Uh, if you have a school, they'll go from children to students. It means they work at a later age, though. So they work faster. I don't know how much faster, but they work uh, at a, low, a later age than they would otherwise. Reserve of firewood is low, that's right. We need a woodcutter. Which I generally put right here. And we can actually go ahead and mark someone as a woodcutter if I could remember where anything is on this menu. There it is. Click. Click. There we go. Because he has no job, he'll act as a laborer, so it's not really actually costing me anything. Bringing stone to that. They have no wood. Oh, because they're putting wood on all this stuff? Yeah. And the builders, in the meantime, because they have nothing else to do, will build all these roads. Which will make people travel faster around there, etc, etc. Um, I should explain this. If you click on any of these production buildings, you could uh, click this little uh, swirly there. It'll tell you the production of the current and previous season for all of these things. The hunting cabin will be a little bit slow at the start. It'll generally sort itself out. And this is the problem I tend to always have at the start of the game, is I almost always get really low on food. In fact, I should increase priority on this thing here. The 
built all the houses. This should have been the next thing in their list anyway, so it probably didn't save me any time, but... We need trees! Trees! Get to work, laborers. Give me some trees. The Forester Lodge will also give me trees, but... It's not nearly as fast as just, uh, strip mining or just, you know, strip foresting, strip cutting? Uh, whatever. Cutting down all the trees ever in the world is generally faster than letting the Forester's Lodge do it. The Forester's Lodge is completely sustainable. They will never cut down more trees than they plant. Okay, good. That has started production. Let us get two fishermen. That's going to drop our laborers really low. Which is bad, of course. But then having low food is also bad, because if you have no food and your people are starving, as our health drops down, uh, they will not work. So, basically get into a perpetual rut. Could just go this way. Is that right on the back of houses? No, it's one square away. So there's nothing we could fit in there anyway. So we could go like that and that'd be fine. I drew all the way around. Not drove it, but you know what I mean. So they should be producing food right next to the houses, which is convenient. We need the woodcutter up. Spide should... Oh, someone was born. See? There you go. Leave two people alone in a house together for long enough, and they will create a child. That's how the world works, effectively. So let's, let's look at bridge here. Wooden bridge. Tunnel. Four lumber and one stone per length. Is that building a bridge just across the river? I could do this, is it cheaper? No, it's the same thing. Alright, so I can just do this and it's fine. You guys actually, they are in fact actually catching fish. I don't know if it's as efficient as it would be on a bigger river. Looks a little slow to me. They are fishing, so getting the food back up there. We need trees, we need firewood. Nothing's being built. We're gonna need tools soon, which we're gonna need to mine, but we have these mountains right here, so we can easily get ore. Tons of mountains on this one. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to get this bridge built, and I'm going to build another set of uh, hunting cabins and stuff over here, and then probably a third one down this way. Well, maybe not. Maybe. The road would be awkward to get there. It's actually quite a long way. We'll see. Right now we just need wood. They are still cutting down trees, so we should, should still be getting logs. And he'll cut that into firewood, which I approve of. How are our houses doing? Our houses stocked full of people? They are. Our food is going up, so I'm actually going to build a few more houses, which is going to take even more lumber, I'm aware. So much lumber. Should actually increase the priority on that. They're already building it though. Yeah, they're already building it, so that was irrelevant, but I want that done. I thought they were building maybe they aren't gonna build a road to that automatically. Let's build a dirt road off. I want that done so we can get additional logging and uh, hunting industry going on over there. And as I mentioned, oop, we have hungry people. Why? You. Where are you? Why is he all the way over here? How did you get over here? You're gonna die. Did you get stuck on the other side of the bridge somehow? You're seven years old. You're a child. How did you get over here? This child must have got stuck on the other side of the bridge somehow. Hmm. That's interesting. I actually want to get a well going here, just in case. I've got a perfect spot for it right here anyway, so... I hope that child lives. I've got four hearts left. Educated? No. Well, obviously. 
<laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. How are you guys doing? 120 fish? Not much. That's not bad, though, considering he's basically fishing off of snow. Why couldn't you guys use that as a bridge? I don't know. Whatever. We're going to... Pause it real quick. We're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to build a little setup of buildings to gather stuff from. We don't need them now. I will point that out. This is preemptive building of these structures. Um, we don't have enough people to work them anyway. I do want them built though. Or at least placed. I may actually end up pausing them. Because our food looks pretty good, so... Although I am building houses, so additional... We're at a completely out of wood. Can't believe it. You're freezing to death, you're starving, you died! Indeed, the child has died of starvation literally right next to their house. They made it all the way around and then died. That's disappointing. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, I wanted to chop down like a billion trees over here and just have these guys replant all this stuff. So just have at that. We can't build anything without lumber, so... They'll prioritize carrying supplies back from here. Primarily food. I have a hunting lodge and there's deer right there, but whatever. Uh, when they're not doing that, though, I think they chop down trees. Some huge mushrooms there or something. What are you? What are you doing? I can't click on you. Click. I know you can click on people. Whatever. Fine. I didn't like you anyway. Firewood is looking really good, though. Or was. 276 this se season's really good. 165. Logs is low. I know. It's fine. Let's actually prioritize a little chunk of uh, area that has trees in it that I've designated. I can't believe this technically works. And I think it's actually at full production. Might be a little less, I'm not sure. I can't believe that works. <laughs> I'm really happy it does, but I can't believe it. Generally, at this point in the game, I try to keep uh, two laborers, and I start pumping essentially anyone that's free into gatherer and forester. Forester, so we can maintain this area, get a lot of logs, because, you know, 79 logs, that's not very much. I also want to try to get a market soon, probably on this corner here. No, that might be too far away, actually. Let me actually look at this. Where is the market? I've completely forgotten what it's under. Is it this market? would technically reach that. I don't know what this circle means. Is this the range of the houses it serves, or is this the range of the resources it gathers? I'm not entirely sure. I think it's the houses it serves. And the reason I like markets so much rather than storage barns is, it be is because the uh, people who work the market actually go get materials and they have a little wheelbarrow uh, thing they use which makes it a lot faster, a lot more efficient. So they are definitely chopping down all this stuff over here, which is good. We've got plenty of firewood, plenty of logs. It's been raining for like 12 days now. Keeping it, keep in mind that uh, temperature down there is in Fahrenheit. If you use Celsius, you have literally no idea what that translates to. I would say 55 is fairly chilly, but then I live in Florida, so... Everything is fairly chilly. You guys need to gather more logs. I also need more children, because one of them died doing, I don't even know what sort of witchcraft it managed to do. We have a lot of children. Seven children is actually pretty good. We just need them to grow up. So I'm actually going to run the game a little bit faster. But uh, anyway, this will be the 
first video. As long as the low food's still good. This will be the first video as it starts to rain again. We've got our little base camp done. We've got one gathering area. We're going to start construction on a second one eventually. And for now, this will be the first video, and I will see you guys the next time something happens or progress is made, like I build a market or something. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys then.